The functionalist approach argues that societies work and hold together through shared values that help to regulate our behaviour. But this doesn't mean these values necessarily have positive effects for all people at all times. They can also have negative effects. And this is the key to understanding Merton's strain theory. He argued that while the values of modern societies encourage people to become wealthy and successful by their own efforts, many people, particularly those in the lower classes, have little opportunity to achieve these goals legitimately. So they're in a state of anime. That is, there's a gap between what they're encouraged to want and their chances of getting it. This makes it more likely that a proportion of them will try to achieve these things by illegitimate means, through crime, or will reject these values altogether and turn to violence, vandalism and deviance. The key point here is we need to see the origins of crime and deviance not simply in the characteristics of individuals, but in the structure and values of modern capitalist societies. If I had to summarise strain theory in an everyday phrase, I'd say, be careful what you wish for. <laughs>